this is my job now. This is how I stay alive. It's symbiotic relationship with bigger creatures. I walk along the shore till someone baits and comes for me. And then something larger grabs them and pulls them down under. <laughs> this is my job now. Sometimes you gotta go out of the out of your way to agitate them. Come on. Oh, it's so close! <laughs> Welcome to the solo survival experience of the Caprasuchus. Not the biggest ancient crocodilian, but definitely one of the scariest. Damn, he is awesome. I'm worried that this is a full grown one though. They're, they're probably very freaking small when like compared to the average dinosaur. What? Dude, Google says they were estimated to grow to a length of three, okay, 10 feet. Okay, good. I thought it was three feet. I was like, there's no way they're only three feet long. Okay, so there's three different variants for the Caprasuchus, each with their own like attributes that benefit you. I think I'm gonna go the Insignus one because the armor boost just sounds super useful. Cause even at 10 feet, you know, there's like Utah Raptors were like 24 feet or something. Well, Google says around 20 feet, but I swear it used to say 24 feet. Someone told me 24 feet. <laughs> Dude, look how small it is when he's a baby. That is ridiculous. There are rocks on the beach visibly bigger. I guess that makes sense. Like crocodilians are born super tiny. It's just, I don't know. I always pictured it being bigger. And the little sucker was born in the midst of a huge weather storm as well. This shall be advantageous. It will help us blend into the waters. For if any nonsense comes our way, we descend. Yeah, this thing's pretty freaking amazing. It's a super fast swimmer. And then when it gets on land, yeah, dude, it can gallop. That's like the whole key insignia of the freaking Capros. It could just gallop. Look at this little dude go. This shall be most useful and awesome. We find ourselves in the lower swamp area. I don't know the server very well. Every server has dinosaurs like congregating in different spots, like big, huge gathering herding zones or grazing areas, I suppose. But this is typically the hot spot. So that's where we're going to head because we must find something and kill it. Also, there's like no quests here except for this specific one, which I'll go do right now. But we do need to get money because in this game, if you guys don't know, to unlock abilities and beautiful skins and such, you need money. You need like dinosaur money, which is confusing, but it's still money. Although this monitor skin is so freaking pretty. So is that though. This one, yeah, Cell, that's crazy. Is that named after freaking Cell like from Dragon Ball Z? Because that's this has to happen. Okay, we've now gotten a new quest to collect 25 flowers and 25 budget mushrooms. Not the most epic, like, way to start a, <laughs> a hero's life, but... I mean, no one wants to acknowledge that you gotta pick flowers to be a great monster, but, like, it's part of it. Damn it, dude! Milk cap mushrooms, not button mushrooms! I understand, like, the developers <laughs> implementing stuff to make the game more interactive, but once you get to, like, multiple kinds of mushrooms, I'm gonna kick somebody in the nuts. Okay, our other quest involves hunting these little critters, so I bet it's gonna be Jimungus to us because we're actually incredibly small. I don't think we realize just how small we are yet because we haven't seen another dinosaur, but this thing has a baby. It must be like literally three feet. Look at this little disgusting monster crawling out of there. You know what? We're not that small. Like, we're, we're, we're decent. I thought this thing was gonna be like a monster next to us, but it was actually something we could legitimately kill. First we pick flowers, then we pick their guts off the floor. Okay, sweet, we just got $60,000. That's my kind of job right there. I love servers that, oh cool, look when he sleeps, he just leaves his mouth open. That looks awesome, like, and it's realistic, but damn, I'd be so scared of spiders getting in there. Okay, I'm deciding on a color right now. There's, there's a lot of amazing ones. Monitor is so beautiful, but it's like zero camouflage. It's so vibrant and pretty, gonna stick out. Gator? is like so camouflaged it's amazing it's amazing but it's not very festive like it's just a simple gator i think we're going back to sell yeah there's nothing abs nothing gonna beat this ever upgrade it all the way because we're rich as hell and begin the shed and then we go into abilities okay we're a full-on adults so we have so many moves to equip for voice i think this finest hour increase your speed by two percent per use able to stack up five times what you can increase your speed by ten percent this one's for helping out other Capros in the pack, which I don't have any, so we're doing this one. But that's crazy. Okay, for tail, I think we're going breach. Dash forward in order to escape our ambush because shooting out of the water is awesome. The other one's lunge, but I feel like breach is gonna be a little sexier. 
Okay, for back limb, we are going to go leaping bites because upon successful activation, you grab the opponent. And that just sounds awesome. Okay, for legs, we're going leap, increase jump height, and reduce stamina when jumping, as opposed to webbed boost, increase mobility and maneuverability by 20% when you're wet. I want to stay mostly on land because that's where the creatures are to hunt. Okay, for hide, we're going sun drop scales. Increase armor by 10%, stamina recovery by 15% during day, just because this one empowers you at night, and this one empowers you in the water. Actually, when the sun goes down, I'm going to switch to this one. I'm just going to keep changing it. Like, I'll unlock all of them right now, and I'll just change it to whatever I'm doing. That's the most logical way. The metabolism could stay the bottom feeder. Damn, I don't want to be a bottom feeder. Actually, bottom feeding works. It gets the job done. You know, why am I trying to eat fancy? Bottom feed for your life, buddy. For front limb, we're going firm grip, increased turning radius by 5% because the other one's for water and we're not going to be in the water that much. The only things in the water are way bigger than us. Okay, for senses, we're going gang's plank. It increases damage. This one increases armor, but damage just sounds more awesome. I said awesome for every one of these and I'm sorry, but they're freaking awesome. Okay, for head, it could have two attacks. So we're going to go dual chop, a double attack that increases in power with each hits. There's other, but they're more for specific locations. The reason I want this one is because the other one I want is sharp tusks. Take 20% reduced damage from hits to your head and increase your damage by 5%. And then this extra slot over here on the far left, we're just going to go geologist. Increase jump height by 25%, trot speed by 15, and reduce thirst depletion by 40. The other one's very beneficial if you're going to be in the water a bunch, which again, we are not. Okay, this creature is perfect now. Holy crap. Oh my god, our colors are coming in. We're looking beautiful, dude. I don't know why I'm gathering these damn milk cap mushrooms. They're just like, I'll never need the money, but they're like right here. <laughs> you know, it's like, I might as well. Quite the beautiful day to be a Capro. Come on, little fella. Or big fella, big monstrous dinosaur. He's got something in his mouth. Dude, that was his mouth. Damn it, I was gonna jump on him, bro. I was gonna pounce on him so ferociously, which may have been a mistake. That dude was Jimungus. Okay, as nightfall falls upon us, it's time to switch to Midnight Creeper. That's that's what you do right there. It's weird they even give you options when you should just always do that. Hey there, little buddy. A buddy that's equally my size. <laughs> Damn, dude. What's going on? We're just going our separate directions. I don't think there's any chance in hell of me being able to solo this dinosaur right now. Yeah, dude, he's got spikes coming out of every little crevice. I'd still go for it, but then he's got those shoulder spikes, which are just absolutely ridiculous, bro. Evolution made him a Power Ranger. You got to imagine how many times those things got killed by a freaking shoulder bites before Evolution was just like, here, take this giant spike on the side. That ought to keep you alive. Look at that thing. He's so incredibly confident. With me circling him, he feels no intimidation. Because he knows if I get close... That's the end for me. Gallop away all you want, buddy. We'll catch up very quickly. If we could implement some kind of heavy bleed, or if we just have one, then we could just kind of run him out. He's using up all his stamina. Soon he will have nothing. Whoops! Got stuck behind a rock. <laughs> it's not all smooth sailing, damn it. Actually, he's got some incredible stamina, but it's just a freaking... It's, it's an actual... Oh, God! Look who's finally grown tired. <laughs> Is that a dinosaur in front of us? Holy crap, dude. That's crazy. I thought that was a rock the whole time running up here. Sleeping dinosaur. This is my chance. I found the head. The neck's right here. <laughs> it's such a monster creature. <laughs> I'm still so freaking intimidated. But when, when stuff is down, when they're asleep, they take like 60% more damage. No, not, not that. I don't know. It's some, it's some number. I made up 60% though. What am I hearing down here? I'm hearing the sounds of giant jaws clamping down. Damn, dude, it's going down over here. I think these T-Rexes just killed everybody. They killed that guy for sure. Oh, look at that little Capro giving him hell. Oh, this is where I belong. I found my people. My beautiful people. I'm with you guys to the end. Damn, they killed what looks like our king. This is a freaking dinosaur versus crocodilian war right here. This is crazy, the politics. Get some food, little buddy. My god, it's taking so long to fill our hunger bar. Watch out, watch out, watch out. This is intense, and I just got here. Oh, man, they're eating each other. Oh, damn. Politics. <laughs> whoa, 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 little fella. 
Okay, we're on the same side. Let's all be cool here. That thing sounds absolutely petrifying. That's the scariest sounding dinosaur this entire game. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Dragons? That's... I'm telling you, though, things are getting spicy. A couple of dragons. A, like, literally a couple. Like, a, like, a, like they're doing it. Oh, this is no place for little old me, dude. I need to be, like, picking on smaller stuff. Those giant carnivores right there. Those, they're... Oh, God, yeah, these guys right here. They, I'm, like, too small for them to even care about me. Hey, look, another one ran past them. Yeah, we're just, like, adorable little puppies of the map. No one messes with us. Oh, my God! <laughs> That is awesome. I gotta join in this squabble. This great battle between land creatures and little... Yeah, that little dude just died. Oh, Jesus! Man. It's crazy being a little guy in a world of big guys. It's a fear I can't quite describe. Oh, I almost got him. Dude, what is with the teleporting on this server? I'm gonna lay down in the grass right here. No one mind me. Pass out, little buddy. This bite is not for me. I think if we go standard bite combined with this, which makes it better and reduces our damage, things could be beneficial. Oh, attack from behind, bro. From behind. Sneak attack from the bushes. Stop teleporting, you freaking witch. Where are you? Looks like I'm fighting Batman over here. Man, thank God for that thing that reduces our head damage because we could just go straight at him. And it's the... Oh, damn, dude. I thought someone bit me on the backside, but I don't think it happened because we would have freaking died. These things are massive. We're so little. We're such a little scrumpets. Oh, you're looking jacked up, bro. You look messed up, man. That was ridiculous. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, fella. I'm trying to avoid this it's a little compy around here. I'm being jacked up right now. Once again, he's just too I think this coffee's chewing on me also. I got problems. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's trying to get around me the same way I'm trying to get around him. It's just a turn radius, man. Look at all these bloody footprints on the floor. Oh, dear. Reinforcements have arrived. I'm bloody as all hell right now, bro. I need to stop running around. Can't really stop running with this kind of thing. Go oh, yes. Suck it. Yes. <laughs> yes. We have done it. He's finally fallen. Give me your trophy. Taking his freaking tooth with me. I'm just the little scavenger who gets my little piece of the creature that I wanted and then has to run off away from the larger creatures before they mistake me for food in the feeding frenzy. Ah, oh, what a beautiful day. The sunset coming up. The sounds of them absolutely devouring that creature we just killed in the bushes. <laughs> it's so romantic. And then them walking back into the water with their faces full of blood from the feast. Oh, the little guys. The little guys joining too. Wow, what a cinematic and beautiful moment. Actually, I should have helped eat. Yes, there's still some left of them. I'll get the scraps. <laughs> I am the little fella. Oh, they're taking down a big fella. These, these are our kings, bro. These are our gods, basically. We are the little scavengers. The infantry that, like, cover their flanks. He's the cavalry. He's the medium sized. Let's bring it down, fellas. Let the little guys run around and spook it. Little stuff always spooks big stuff. They're, they're very spookable. Come on, go towards the water. Yaw, go that way. Beast, if he whips me with that tail, we're gonna get so jacked up. <laughs> oh my God. I will lure food down to the graters. Yeah. Yeah, I know that pissed you off a bit. Come on, come make me feel it. Come get revenge down by the water. Wow, this game is so cinematic. There's a compy on him. Oh crap, oh god, oh man, oh man, oh. <laughs> All right, this is what I'm talking about right here. Come on, you guys are gonna need to get water at some point anyways, ain't you? Yeah! Oh man, you thought. Every time I do that, I take my life into my hands. Like, <laughs> it's so vicious. Oh man, the water's all misty too. The shout. Oh, look at this guy already right here. He's, <laughs> he's just ready, dude. There it is, drinking. Are we going for it? I'll let him go first. Wow, I freaking did that beautifully. Get him, boys. I did good. <laughs> I'm not getting in the middle of this. I'm not getting bit by one of these guys. I may do a jumping drive-by bite. Oh, God. Damn, 
dude. That was wild. He's getting away! Oh dear. Where are you going? Damn, his face, is he handled that pretty well. That is a titanically monstrously sized creature. Whoa there, buddy. Woo! -hoo! He keeps trying to get me, but these hops on this little guy is just too preposterous. No! Ha! Worth it. Oh, <laughs> damn, bro. I'm so happy I backed off last second. I, I didn't get like the full impact of that kick, luckily. Thank God, I got instincts. It was, it was way too planned on his part. What are we gonna eat, guys? We're gonna starve. What's going on now? They're eating? Oh, one of them came in the water. <laughs> or they grabbed one of them. That's so awesome. These big guys know what they're doing, man. This is my job now. This is how I stay alive. It's symbiotic relationship with bigger creatures. I walk along the shore till someone baits and comes for me. And then something larger grabs them and pulls them down under. <laughs> this is my job now. Sometimes you gotta go out of the out of your way to agitate them. Come on. Oh, it's so close. <laughs> so close. <laughs> this is unfortunate. I don't see us getting past this. This wall of tusk. This this guy's backed up to the water just so he can freaking meal kick. This guy's so ready to stomp. It's the biggest stalemate I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, exactly that. What do we do here? How do we push back? What's the grand solution to this? What do we do? These big guys, though, aren't sure either, because, like, any wrong move results in death. I have to get in there and start frazzling them. Get them frazzled, Johnny. Oh, bro's looking hella frazzled. Yes, get them stomping early. Get them turning on each other on accident. Chew on this guy's toes a little bit. That ought to spice things up around here. Oh, yeah. Get them all nice and spooked. Look at them breaking rank, turning their backs to the water. Oh, damn! No, no, no! The thing is, these elephants are indestructible. They just are. Like, there's nothing... I don't think there's anything in this whole game that can beat them. <laughs> like, there's... And even if there is, it's gonna be a giant sauropod, not one of us. Look at everyone waiting in here, just for someone who could get grabbed to come into the water. And then it's feeding time. <laughs> Eventually, one of them's gonna get thirsty. Not this one, but... Oh, God! Oh, man! Oh, he stopped being thirsty real quick. Oh, look at this. Letting your guard down, huh? Whoa, man! Stop! <laughs> Damn. Damn, dude. The uh, the radius on, like, that seismic magnitude. What's that about, dude? This was freaking awesome. The Capra is amazing. There's definitely better ways to use it. I just got myself involved in a giant territorial war, which resulted in some awesome stuff. It was a good fun time, and I did my part in the great army, and I served with honor, and I'm proud. But yeah, if you guys want to see more Path of Titans, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace!